Ooh, baby. Where were you all this time? Oh my. Mmm. Mmm. What's up, beautiful family? Welcome back to another video. We're here again, boys and girls and everything in between in San Pedro Sula, Honduras. So today's video is gonna be a nice little treat. We're gonna have tacos, Mexican tacos, here in Honduras, and I'm a big fan of tacos. Uh, if you've seen my past few, some of my videos, you see I like doing taco reviews. So we're gonna check this place out. It's in San Pedro Sula. It's called Pinche Taco, like Pinche Way. Uh, we're gonna check it out and see if it's good. If it's not, if it's good, and a whole bunch of people are staring at me. Let me see if I can show you guys. But anyways, we gotta cross the street first. It's uh, right now. This is being filmed in Independence Day of Honduras, uh, September 15th. All right, so let's cross the street. You gotta cross. You gotta be careful here. These streets are crazy, man. People are great, streets are crazy. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, let me know what kind of videos you guys wanna see. If you guys, I'm gonna be traveling a lot. Uh, of course, I'm gonna go to uh, different parts of the US, stay in Orlando. But right now, I'm international, boy. International, not 305. <laughs> All right, I gotta figure out where the entrance is of this place. Okay, gracias, gracias. All right. Cool. All right. Come on. Sí, sí. Solo para qué? Solo para qué? So we walk in. We got something over here. I don't know. It says school. So this used to be a school. It seems like. Let's just chill over there. All right. I mean, she said this is a good spot to eat. I said my best friend is Mexican. Shout out to my boy Roman. Um, Actually, yeah. Sorry. Uh, anyways, uh, because the fan was a little bit loud. Um, so we're gonna see if it's good. I mean, they say they accept American Express because I don't got no cash. So let's let's dig in. Uh, we're gonna start off with the horchata. We're gonna do a rice horchata uh, and then a cocoa horchata. I said, is it Mexican, is it Honduran? Because it's totally different, the, the horchata drinks, um, which is the rice water drinks. And for those of you who don't know what horchata is. Um, but we got we got to try the Quesa Birria. You know, shout out to my boy Taco Plug, always doing the birria. Uh, they have birria tacos too. Um, I'm gonna have to eat a little bit of each, so it's gonna be a good video. It's gonna be a little bit of long video, but. Orale wey, Simon. Tamas chido. <laughs> Shout out to my Mexicanos, bro. Uh, torta, I love torta, but I'm gonna skip on that. It's like a sandwich, the Mexican sandwich. Um, nacho seems good, but I kind of want to get into different things. Um, then they have a Bibia box. Freaking 22 tacos. That'd be a great challenge. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see me come back to Honduras, San Pedro Sula, and do like maybe a, a challenge video over here. So this is pretty cool. It has its own little brand marking there. Get that all that good stuff all mixed in there. Ooh yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Go now. Get that nice and cold, boy. Ooh wee. All right. Got the straw. Boom. Mmm. Wow. That is so pleasant, holy crap. That is so good. It's it's definitely more on the Mexican style than the Honduran style. But they have the, they put a little bit dulce de leche, which is that, it's kind of like, for those of you who don't know dulce de leche, it's almost like caramel, but a more milky. It's like a milky version of caramel, because caramel is like melted down, melted down sugar. So this one is just, you can taste the, the nice little rice water, is nice and sugary, and then the dulce de leche, it gives it that nice little smooth finish. So good. All right, guys, so the food has arrived. We have the ribs, the tacos de costillas, the taco of ribs right here. 
we have the shrimp tacos. With el consume. Ooh, that looks good. And they can't forget the quesadilla. I'm excited. So uh, she's gonna bring some salsa. I want to go in with the, the shrimp first. Let's open that bad boy up. Ooh that looks good. You guys see that? Oh man, thank you, thank you. Gracias. Sí, gracias. Muy amable. Let's go for the taco shrimp one. Double taco, double crunch, so it has the normal soft inside. The outside is a crunchy top, they made it crunchy. It's the same type of taco, but they made it crunch on the outside. On the inside, so that shrimp, how they braised it is so delicious. You can taste the nice little, um, the oven, not the oven, but the pan. Mm. The Honduran type cheese we've been talking about in the past few videos, so good. Mm. I need to try. The pork ribs. Look at that bad boy. Oh, see that? Look at those details. All right, close this bad boy up. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. Pickled vegetables, a little bit spicy, not that much. Mm. Let's try a little bit of salsa verde. Let's see if it's good here. Oh. It's good. It has its own little taste to it. Mm. Now, because this is rib meat, they also have fat. So the fat just melts in your mouth. The cilantro with the onion just makes it perfect because it's nice and fatty, almost like a sauce. The crunch on the outside taco is so beautiful. The inside's nice and soft. Mmm. That's amazing. <laughs> the salsa verde is pretty good. It just it tastes different. Like they put their own little spin to it. Um, it doesn't taste like a traditional salsa verde mexicana, but this is Honduras, so it's cool. But. So far, these tacos have been bomb, man. Absolutely bomb. They've been putting a lot of butter. You can tell you put a lot of butter to make them nice and crunchy on the outside. But we have to get to the moment everybody's been waiting for. The second to best moment, los taco birria. Look at that, look at that meat. Look at that beef, that shredded beef with the cheese inside. We got the crunchy, uh, the crunchy shell on the outside, the inside, let's give it a go. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Oh my goodness. This is so good. That cheese. What? That beef. It has details. You can see the red pepper right there. It's not too strong. It's not too overpowering. The beef is nice and tender. It's nice and juicy with the cheese. All right. We got to do consomme, my man. We gotta see what the consume. Mm. Consume is pretty darn good. I've had a little bit better. That's pretty good, man. Remember, we're in Honduras, we're not in Mexico. That's pretty darn good. Oh, oh yeah. Consume is pretty darn good, bro. This is probably why you clicked on the video. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it's because you just want to hear me talk about food. I don't know, man. Anyways, quesadilla. Let's open this bad boy up. Woo-wee! So, similarly like the taco video, except we are with the Honduran cheese on deck and the tortilla. Let's see how the tortilla adds up. Sorry for the flies. Mm. I feel drunk like high off of 
endorphins. I didn't even drink anything alcoholic. Ooh, Ooh baby. Where were you all this time? Oh my. Mmm. Mmm. Boy, if you don't. Boy. I didn't know this makes you fall in love too. You put some salsa verde. Oh my gosh. Mmm. That salsa verde is nice and lemony. Bro. That is amazing. Which one did you guys like better? You tell me. Shit, man. It's so good. Oh, so fucking delicious. So this right here is their maracuya, which is passion fruit. Uh, crazy drink, which so is pretty much with tequila. I had to do it for my adults if you're under the age of 21 or whatever your drinking legal age is in your country. Do not watch this part. Do not, all right? So, bottoms up, my mans and my girls. Woo -wee. It's a little on the sweet side. It's good. It's gonna give me that diabetes. Woo -wee. All right, so first item on the block, we got the shrimp tacos. That one, just all the tacos are so good because they're crunchy on the outside, they're really unique. Um, I'll give that one um, a professional scale, like a, a eight out of 10 is pretty darn amazing. Uh, the second one we had was the rib ones. I'm not the biggest fan of pork, but I can definitely understand where it comes from. It's a little bit on more on the greasier side, so I wish, because it already has the natural grease from the actual, uh, from the meat, I wish they didn't put so much butter on the outside of the tortilla. That's what makes it crunchy. Maybe let, make it a little less greasy because it already has natural grease. So I'm gonna give that one a seven out of 10. Uh, so it's still amazing. No, that's why I gave it seven out of 10, not lower. It's pretty amazing. Uh, okay, taco birria time. That carne de res was so soft, it was so juicy. Um, freaking, it was the consomme was darn amazing. So if I had to do the combo, I have to give that one pretty good rating at 7.9 out of 10 that was pretty darn amazing and then that queso birria I wasn't the biggest fan of the tortilla what can you do you know so for that one I'll give it but oh wait the meats the same meat as the taco birria uh, the cheese was amazing that's the next level uh, I'll give that one 8.2 out of 10 that was amazing this place is absolutely great um, I like their little take on you know the salsa verde is very lemony uh, but it still tastes good. Um, it's amazing, the consomme was great. Uh, you know, it's not, say Mexican consomme. That's why I didn't give it a nine, any nines. But it was absolutely amazing. If you wanted the closest thing to Mexican food and you're here in Honduras, San Pedro Sula, you need a freaking, you need a freaking, <laughs> check out Pinche Taco. All right, Pinche Taco here in San Pedro Sula, Honduras. All right, cheers guys. Thank you so much for, Cheers guys. Oh, by the way, all that food, 36 bucks. If I had that same amount of food in the States, we're talking about 50 bucks. So it's been it's so filling. I couldn't finish it. Like, look at all this. I'm taking home with me. That's amazing, amazing. And of course I'm gonna tip. So tip is uh, discretionary. That's amazing guys. All right guys, that's the movie. The movie, oh my gosh. That's the video. Um, we crossed this part, part without dying over here. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I did. It was amazing. Check it out if you're in San Pedro. Uh, the closest thing to Mexican. And it was pretty darn good. 8 out of 10 overall. Great experience. Amazing tacos. So yeah, come check it out. All right, guys, let me know what you want me to do next time. Leave it in the, the best way to let me know is leaving a comment below. Follow me on my Instagram because I'm always doing different things on there that I'm not doing on here. Uh, and then also TikTok. All right, guys, thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.